Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today my agenda for this video is sentiment analyzer case study. And in this case study, I have chose the IMDB movie review data set by using this. I have dug the sentiment analyzer and I will showcase you how we can, uh, can solve the real time challenges while developing a sentiment analyzer from data pre-processing to feature engineering and then the modeling using the NLP based model and then handle the real time challenges, then evaluation of best model. And here you can see basically how we can approach any data science problem. So here are the basic overview of IMDB movie review data set. And basically I have downloaded this data set from Kaggle. And if you want, you can download this directly from the Kaggle. So here is the link for the Kaggle. Let me move to this link. So here are the Kaggle page. You can directly log in with your credentials here and then you search for the imdb data set for movie review and translation then you directly navigate to this page and you can download this data set from here and if you talk about the size of data set this data set has the 384 mb size and in csv format and here are the quick introduction regarding this data set what kind of challenges in the data set and what are the goals uh, to share this data set so you can read from here and here are the four important columns like the rating, review, movie, Hazania. So in rating, we have the user rating provided one to 10 scales. If you are like the movie, then they provide that 10 out of 10, nine or eight. And if they don't like the movie, they provide the one or two, or three or four rating. And in the review section here is the content of the review and the, this review in English language like the user providing the content. So we are basically interested in this part and the rating part in our, this case study. And if we talk about the unique value, this review section contain the 149,780 unique values. And in movie attribute, we have the movie names. And if we talk about the unique movies, we have the 14,207 unique movies. And in case of Hisania, Hisania basically the Portuguese word here is the translation of English, English review to the Portuguese review. And so we have the unique 1,49,774 unique reviews in Portuguese language. So let me back to the PPT. So let me discuss the basic statistics. So here are the basic statistics regarding our data set. And as I explained you on Kaggle page, like our data set contain the four important attributes. First one is rating, then review, then movie, then Hazania. And in case of rating, you are providing the rating, rating for any movie from one to 10 scale. And as shown here in the rating section, and in review, you are providing the review in English language in string format, like the user, like the movies, like user, like the screenplay action or the, or the song or the story of the movie. So overall, feedbacks in the review section in this language and movie attribute contain the names of the movie and these are the unique names and in case of Hizania, Hizania basically translation of reviews in Portuguese language and if we could if we talk about the downloaded data set unique entries uh, number of reviews in English language we have the for 1,49,780 reviews and in case of number of movies, we have the 14,200, 205 unique movies. So these, uh, these the basic information regarding our IMDB data set. Uh, let me move to the IMDB websites for those users who don't know how, how we provide the re review for a particular movie to IMDB, how we rate a movie on IMDB website. Let me move to the IMDB website. So this is the IMDB uh, movie page and here is the movies KGF chapter two. This is recently released movie and this is the year of the release and this is the duration of the movie. And here is the IMDB rating section and here is the weighted average. You can see here the 9.0 weighted review by given by the 79,000 uh, 79, users. If you uh, right click here and you move to the rating page, this is the rating page. And you can see this is the movie name, then year, 
and then the average rating and this is the total number of imdb users who provide a rating for this particular movie and this is the weighted average rating and you can see here the uh, nice histogram you can see here like the 10 out of 10 rating provided by the 80 84.4 users and uh, in case of vote they uh, there has the uh, 66902 votes for this and you can see the uh, 9 out of uh, out of 10 rating provided by the 5.8 percent users so you can see the nice histogram and below is the basic statistics information like the arithmetic mean 9.4 median is 10 and if you scroll down here is the different age group information and also the different gender information you see the below 18 18 users like this movie like the 9.4 rating provided by the below 18s and if we divide this into the male female then you can see here the 9.5 rating provided by the males and uh, 9 rating provided by the females same for the 18 to 29 age group and then 30 to 44 then 45 this is the nice information and let me back to the uh, movie page so here is the movie page if we scroll down here and this is the user review section and here is the total number of 1.5 4k reviews and if we right click here and move to this review page this is the review page here is the movie name here and this is the review provided by the end user this is the scale of the review like 10 out of 10 rating provided by this particular user and this is the summary of the review title you can see the title of the review this is the reviewer name and this is the date of the review and this is the content of the review and in this case study our main focus on this content and this rating we will use these two features to make our sentiment analyzer model so let me back to the case study so let me talk about the objective and the objective like the, this is imdb data set and the goal to provide a base for the sentiment analysis for this data set and usually this kind of data set provide the binary class, uh, classification problem like the whether the text is positive or negative but uh, if we talk about the industry level solutions then this kind of uh, like this kind of approach fail in some point like the traditional approach failing sometimes we don't know how this sentiment uh, is labeled as positive or negative on what features on what attributes contribute more while predicting the sentiment positive or negative so we need a like the industry level solution so our goal in this case study is to develop the industry level solution and we will address all challenges while developing industry level solution and in this case study particular case study we will focus on only two features one is the rating second one is the review provided by the end user in english language and our primary goal is to develop a sentiment analyzer to predict either a positive or negative sentiment let me divide this problem into the small task so first task is mapping this uh, mapping the rating of, of 1 to 10 to binary classification either positive and negative and in second phase like the in processing processing and the feature engineering we will try to solve the real time industry level problems of the sentiment analyzer first one is the sarcasm multipolarity negation this kind of problem we will solve in the feature engineering part and modeling part and in after that once we solve this kind of problem then we will develop a best model by using the nlp and machine learning techniques uh, so that we can categorize our review as a positive or negative negative reviews and in the end we will deploy our analyzer model on the aws cloud by using the rest apis so that's the our goals and primary object objective and you can see in my upcoming video how we can handle these kind of real-time challenges during the feature engineering and modeling so first phase is mapping to data science problem so you can see here we have the uh, we have the rating in the one to ten scales and we have the business problem like our task is to find the sentiment of end user so by checking their reviews and we need to develop a NLP or ML based model to, uh, to predict either the sentiment of the review is positive or negative. But as we know, our reviews in the one to 10 
1 to 10 scale so we need first we need to convert this problem into binary classification either positive and negative so let's first map the rating range to binary classification so here we need the domain experts or the domain knowledge uh, to map this rating to the positive negative classes so if we understand this problem like the if user provided one rating two rating then as per the domain knowledge you can see okay this user maybe dislike the particular attribute of the movies like user don't like the uh, stories or action or the sounds so that's why their user provided the one two three or up to the four rating that's why we map the one to four rating to negative class and if we see like the user providing the 10 out of 10 or 9 8 or up to 7 then we we see okay this user maybe like this movie that's why this user is providing high rating to particular movie and so that's why we map 7 to 10 is a positive class and in case of 5 to 6 we provide the neutral label because we don't know if this is the positive or negative that's why we provide the neutral and as we you know we are interested in the positive and negative sentiment only then we will remove the neutral sentiment data from our data set and our final outcomes and the final goals for this problem is the so first one is the predictions our sentiment analyzer will provide us the predictions either the positive sentiment or negative sentiments based upon the review text to particular review and second major part is the movie attribute liked by the majority of users we will also share in the end like the movie attribute which uh, liked by majority of users like the actions directors or the or the actors or the stories which attributes majority like by the users and the sound effects you can see and also we is similar to this we also share the movie attributes which are not liked by the majority of users in the end we will show these you all things move to the real-time challenges while developing any sentiment analyzer so first challenge is sarcasm so as we know like the review contains the multiple sentences like the user provided the multiple line reviews or phrase of the reviews and sometimes happen like the user provided the negative review by using the positive words and if we talk about the traditional sentiment analyzer like the those animal analyzer rely on the positive words occurrence of the positive words and occurrence of the negative words and based upon the occurrence of the positive and negative words they provide the okay provide the outcome this is the positive sentiment or negative sentiment but uh, to handle this kind of sarcasm uh, we need to design our sentiment analyzer uh, by using the domain expertise like the domain to particular industry on which review we are working on and also we can utilize the state of the art nlp techniques let me explain the with below example like the first one is a simple review and here you can see like the my car had awesome mileage of 25 km per liter so if we see this is the overall a positive review awesome world is a positive word and if we include the domain knowledge here 25 km per liter is a good average as per the automobile industry or as per the car mileage so this is a simple review and the second review is a sarcastic review you can see my car has awesome language up to this this review is positive up to this point but here you can see like a four kilometer per liter here is the challenge if we include the domain knowledge here like the four kilometer per liter is no good mileage but if we if we feed this review into the, our traditional sentiment analyzer those analyzer only rely on the positive negative word then they mark this as a positive review but if we include the domain domain information here then we can see okay this is the like the negative review provided by the user and the user use the positive word to provide a negative reviews so to handle this kind of sarcasm we need to to use the state of the art of our feature engineering and the nlp and also the domain which and second challenge is the polarity uh, so as we know that the review contain multiple lines and multiple sentences and sometimes it happened that the user provided the multipolarity reviews like the uh, user like some of the attribute of particular product some of the feature of particular product and maybe user don't like particular features let me explain better with below example this review is related to the one of the movie the screenplay cuts action sounds effects these all things is liked by the user here 
and up to this like the effect this is a negotiation this overall review is positive review if you can see like the first sentence in uh, contain the positive sentiment positive review but in the second sentiment you can see in the the story is not too good you can see here the sentiment is changed so you can see like the multipolarity reviews and to handle this situation also we need to develop a like the industry level solutions so we need to uh, to handle these multipolarity reviews and we need to find insights from the uh, from the like the multiple sentences of the review so that we can handle the multipolarity in the runtime or in the production time and third one major problem is the negation sometimes user use none less not never can't these kind of word to reverse the polarity or polarity of review or word so we need to use the state of the art of NLP machine learning to handle this kind of scenario so also and let me explain with this example if you can see the visual example I don't call this movie as a good movie and if we rely only on the positive word then our sentiment analyzer might this review as a positive review because there is a good word a good word is a positive review. positive word and then our sentiment analyzer mark this as a positive review. but if if we can check the context all context of the sentence then you can see i don't like don't call this movie a good movie so if we if we make a sentiment analyzer based upon the context of the sentence then we can find okay there is the like the sentence is use the i don't call this movie a good movie so this is the uh, they don't user use the don't word to reverse the polarity of the good word and uh, so here is the overall review for this sentence is negative or negative sentiment so that's the uh, challenges like the real time challenges in the industry while developing a industry level solutions so in this case study my goal is to solve these kind of challenges while doing the feature engineering while doing the modeling and by using the state of the art of NLP and machine learning techniques so let me move further so thank you for watching this video and if you want to download this data set i have provided the kaggle link in the end and if you want to visit the imdb website here are the link for the imdb website thank you please like and subscribe my channel and in case of any feedback please uh, comment in the below section of the video and thank you